Good morning. Happy Saturday, January 12th. I owe you guys a couple update videos, so we're going to go ahead and get into that today. And also, I got this thing called a New Wave Oven uh, Pro. New Wave, New Wave Oven Pro. I will be doing some cooking videos in that. Maybe even today, I'm going to cook. Uh, I'm not sure. I think we're going to do some pork chops tonight, me and the boys. Uh, so that's going to be some stuff coming up. Uh, but I did on December 30th, and I said, hey, it's January 30th, like a bonehead. Um, on December 30th, I did a winter weed control test where I put some um, Mansion Select herbicide on my yard in certain areas where weeds were growing. And I said, you know, my theory is I'm going to walk around while the yard is brown and dormant in the cold, and I'm going to spot spray the green if it's weeds. Um, if it's some grass coming or, or, you know, hanging around, I'll avoid the grass because there's no need to spray the grass. But if it's any type of a weed, I want to go ahead and spray it uh, because I was curious to see what would happen in the cold temperatures and if it'll help me get ahead this spring of post-emergent weeds. So that's what we did. So I want to show you guys that real quick. Also, uh, I want to do an update video of the Rust-Aid Outdoor uh, Rust Remover. So we did a video, and I'll link to that up here, uh, a couple days ago where we, we used this, and it was like freaking magic on vinyl. Absolutely incredible. Did a quick time-lapse, eight-minute video um, where we, we tried this out. Um, pretty, pretty, pretty solid rust on, uh, on vinyl. So uh, check that video out, but we're going to take it a next level today as a part of this video is we're going to time-lapse the rust in my neighbor's uh, sidewalk. It's pretty yuck over there. Uh, so we're just going to spray it. And what I did is I put about, I don't know, a third of a gallon in here. Uh, in my little Husqvarna two gallon sprayer and we're going to go ahead and uh, just spray that concrete down, let it sit, maybe spray it again, let it sit and then go ahead and um, anything you hear, and that's just water because I rinsed it out before I put the acid in it. It's in the, it's in the wand, don't worry, I'm not, sp I'm not spraying acid, the handle's off. Um, and I haven't pumped it up yet, so it's just sitting down here. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and check that out. Um, Using this here, I'm not too concerned with, with wearing protective gear, but guys, whenever you're messing with this rust aid or any type of rust remover that has the acids in it, this has oxalic acid and something else acid, please be really careful. If you're using a pump sprayer like this, a hand pump sprayer, you know, these things are going to leak. And as soon as you get the acid on your hand, man, it takes about, I don't know, a half a second and you start feeling that burn. So just don't get this stuff on your skin and don't be, you know, if the wind, don't, don't be this way and breathing it. You, if you breathe this stuff in, you're going to feel it in your lungs fast and it is rough. So please be really, please be really, really careful for that. Um, just wear, you know, your protective eyewear more than reading glasses or, or glasses, gloves. All right, just be really careful. So. First, let's go ahead and we'll check out the weeds real quick and then we'll get into the rust. When I did that video on the 30th, the first thing I did is I sprayed this area here really good because it was a lot of this. Really bad here. And so I sprayed it and even though it's only been about 13, 14 days, um, what is it, it's the 11th, 12th? So it's been 13 days, I guess, 13, 14 days. Uh, it takes about two to three weeks for the stuff to really work, but you could see look look at the damage Look at how light green and yellowing this is and browning on the edge. So it's definitely killing these weeds um, Compared to where it was not sprayed Pretty significant difference especially when you stand back this way and look So I have to say it definitely is working. We also sprayed all the way up here. I sprayed around here So that's all yellowing. It's not as green as it used to be when we were over here, we had yellow flowers, and I really invite you to go back and look at that video I uploaded on the 30th. They, there was a lot of yellow flowers right here, so that's all gone. That's all dead. Uh, there's some crispy stuff here. That's dead weeds, all yellowing. It was all, all up in here was pretty good amount of weeds, so it's definitely 
working to control the weeds. It put a hurting on them. This is the sidewalk we're going to work on the with the rust aid. So we're just going to go ahead and we're going to spray the sidewalk. It's a little bit windy, not bad. A little bit of movement in the Washingtonias. Not bad. Uh, so we'll stand up wind. We'll spray it. It says it's safe for lawns. It says it's safe for plants. But we'll go ahead and, and we'll spray the sidewalk with the pump up sprayer and we'll give it a few minutes and then we'll come back and uh, spray it again and then we'll rinse it with a garden hose and see what the effects are. My goal with the weed killer is I wanted to get rid of all the green patches of weeds that were growing in my yard. So when you look at like the neighbor here, you see like all the green, see all that green in there, that's all weeds. So they got centipede grass and a crap load of weeds, 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 and weeds, big old beds of weeds. So I wanted to make sure that that didn't happen. So you see my neighbor has lots of weeds around the pole, but you see I don't. So that's why I treated it. That green up there is the baby centipede, but that's why I treated my lawn. So when you look at my lawn, it's uniformly ugly, which is perfect for this time of year. That's a dormant centipede. No grass or no weeds are growing. That was my goal. And it, I mean, it seemed like it's working. I don't, I don't know. Um, but hey, if you got customers or your yard and you got, you know, a lot of green patches growing and it's cold and you're like, I wonder if I can do it. Well, I did it. Seems to be okay. Okay, so for this part of the video, uh, my main focus is going to be to apply it, let it sit, apply it again, let it sit, and rinse. And we're going to time lapse it from here on out. So you can just sit back and watch and see what happens, and I'll be back, uh, and we'll figure this all out together at the end. about 10 20 so we time lapse that I'm not sure what I'm gonna put it at what speed I'm gonna put it at probably about eight eight or ten times speed little music and you saw me come in you watched me put the first coat down um, then I put a second coat down and then I came over and I don't want to move the camera because um, I want you guys to see it all happen without any stopping of the camera time lapse doesn't count as stopping so there's no stopping the camera um, and so, I mean, you can pretty much see that all of the rust is gone. It is gone. Um, that, that's pretty amazing. So we're going to rinse it with a garden hose. I'm doing it like a homeowner because so many of you guys that watch my videos are kind of like homeowners, really. Um, there's a lot more homeowners that, that pick up on my how-tos and stuff like that than pro lawn guys and pro, pro power wash guys. So I'm not going to come out here with my surface cleaner and my big pressure washer and clean this up. I want you to see as a homeowner what you can expect using this product with a garden hose and a pump up sprayer. And so that's exactly what we're doing. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna take my garden hose right now and I'm just gonna rinse this off and uh, see what we got.
if you were a uh, pressure wash company or if you have a pressure washer this would be a great time to pressure wash but really all I want to do now is dilute it so it's safe Spray on and rinse off. What a difference. What a difference. Um, I'm going to let this dry and we'll take a look at it. All right, I, I, I can't wait much longer because I got things I got to do. So the concrete's drying. There's still some wet spots here and there, but what a difference. That, I mean, all that rust is gone. Remember how bad it was here? Remember how bad it was here? here and now it's not as unsightly as it used to be see if I was in my garage I can look out and I could see the rust sitting here and now it just looks like a normal sidewalk um, still got some drying that needs to happen but wow what a difference definitely definitely thrilled Man, that rust ate some pretty good stuff I tell you what I'm gonna go make some ribs on my new wave I'll see you guys on the next one. Tell me about the whistle. The whistle.